Okay, gang, we've got one more hurdle to jump over. We want to get over this. We're done skis, right? The final exam. Now, this is primarily for my classes, but I'm, I think you may find it helpful for your class as well. But things that, um, that I would like to see or that I'm going to put on my final for my students. Now, will you hit the same thing? I don't know, but, you know, hey, probably. Okay, so things that we didn't get to cover in a test that you probably get to see on the final. There's not going to be a video series on these because all of these videos are already made. You need to go back and review them. There are things that we have talked about that maybe we didn't get to put on a test because there was so much material. What did we miss that we can pick up and put on the final and uh, test you on? And that might be something like, number one, a machine problem. Okay, that's from the chapter on trusses, frames, and machines, okay? And machines, what are machines? Well, they have moving parts, and they don't have global equilibrium, global. Well, I'll say global equilibrium is missing, right? There is no global equilibrium on those. So a machine problem. We remember how to do those, right? Same as the rest of them. First thing you got to do, boom. What are you going to do? TNT. Blow it up, right? Draw a free by diagram of each piece and then solve it. Can you draw free by diagrams? So critical. Okay, the next problem. How about this one? Centroid by calculus. Okay. A centroid by calculus problem. Probably didn't have that on a test. Got to pick that up and do that, right? If you had, if, if you had a centroid by calculus, then probably didn't have a uh, Pappas-Goldinus problem on there. Okay. That stuff is all on the chapter three or the exam three uh, review problem. So you can see one on this or that. So those are, those are there. Those videos exist. Just go back and review those. So some kind of centroid problem. The, the another thing for sure 100% you're going to have on there is a moment of inertia problem. Okay. You've got the uh, two videos on that, really. You've got, um, you know, um, parallel axis theorem. And you had the, the, the uh, you had a calculus method on that, right? Okay, again, you can go review those videos. That's the last videos since exam three review. Okay, so that would be on there. So there's, there's one, two, three problems. Another good problem would probably be something like, uh, let's see. Ooh, how about, how about a lambda hat? It's been a while since we've done one of those, right? So lambda hat. Some kind of a 3D reaction problem. Right? So you've got to write those unit vectors. Remember that? The lambda hat method. Write your vectors in IJK form. It's been a while since we've done one of those. Might want to throw one of those at you. Okay? And let's see. What, what would the problem kind of number, number five be? Maybe a friction wedge problem, right? It was kind of the last, um, the last section of the, of the, the uh, friction chapter. So a wedge problem. And all about that FBD. Remember, the bad thing about friction is you can't guess the direction. If you get the direction backwards, you get the problem wrong. So you've got to get friction drawn on there the correct way. So go back and review those videos. So that's a, that's a good, um, a good uh, compilation of, pro, uh, of a problems for the final exam. So one, two, three, four, five topic areas. Things that we kind of missed during this semester. We'll come back. We'll hit, hit them on the final. And uh, all the videos exist. So I suggest you study. And golly, I hope you do good. Let's do good and let's get an A+. All right, I'll see you on the next video.